Well, hey guys, thanks for tuning back in to my small town home. I'm your host, Sonia. And today, we are going to be doing the floor and the baseboards for our gnome stump. Things coming out gorgeous. It's going to be so beautiful when it's done. I'm going to do little gnome uh, male and a little female. It's a little house, so I don't think they can have kids, but it can be a husband and wife or maybe a couple of older, uh, older gnomes that are retired and they bought themselves their very first stump. Who knows? Let's build a little story for this couple. It would be awesome. Let's go inside. Let's do the next part of this series and I'll show you your items list and we'll get to making the next step. All right, guys, let's give you the item list of what you're going to need for today's painting of the floor and building the baseboards. So you're going to need some alcohol ink, and these are the inks that I have. And you're going to need latte, ginger, and caramel. You're also going to need a paintbrush, some cardstock, and a pair of scissors and some kind of glue. You can use tacky glue, fabric fusion, gorilla glue. You can even use, because it's cardstock, school glue. And you're also going to need a ruler. So, let's get to building the baseboard. All right, so you're going to take your ruler and you are going to use your centimeter side and you are going to measure up one full centimeter. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge so that it doesn't absorb as much paint, but this is not required. do some alcohol ink painting. Make sure you shake your bottle up really well. And this stuff goes a long way. I've had, I've had all these bottles. You can see how much ink there is. Um, probably going on two years. So they last a very, very long time. And so what you do is you just spread it out on there and then brush it. You just Now, you don't have to use alcohol inks. You could use regular paint or stain. I'm just choosing to use alcohol ink for myself. One, this stuff dries super fast. So work in very small areas because it will ruin, it'll, it'll like dry just like that in a puddle. And then you have a stain that looks like a puddle. On to caramel. And now, ginger. All right, so we're gonna let this dry and then we'll do the baseboard. All right, so I'm gonna use a little bit 
of this red oxide for the baseboards. to paint this very carefully so I'm going to paint this and then I'll be right back all right two coats of paint to paint the baseboard sorry I didn't show you both coats but a camera and a hand and a paintbrush all inside of the small space just doesn't work but you get the idea to paint two coats very carefully if you can use some masking tape or painters tape and trim out the floor so that you don't spread the paint everywhere I'm not worried about the walls because I'm going to be painting those so on the next tutorial we're actually going to build the bedroom wall to put the first divider in so guys today was the floor and the baseboards next video we're going to put the wall up for the bedroom and we're also going to paint that wall and paint all of the interior walls of this. I thank all of my subscribers and all of you who've watched my videos on this tutorial as we're making this tree stump for gnomes. And if you want to see any future videos as we continue on with this series for this tree stump here, Go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and go ahead and hit that notification bell, and that way you'll get notified each time I upload one of the videos for this series on the Gnome Tree Stump. So guys, until next time, bye!